Hey boys, welcome back to the Gold Coast Times Korea, where we're going to be playing in the Origin Game 1, Queensland v New South Wales. You know, I I, I sort of, I don't think I played as, uh, I don't think I selected, like, to represent uh, or, or coach a representative team in our last couple of careers, but I was keen to get into this, so let's have a look at our lineup. I actually think there are a lot of choices um, we'll look at the, the blues here first, some, uh, some decent players, Mitchell Moses, Luke Keary, could be a little bit of a, a spoiler to the, to the real life counterparts, decent, uh, decent forward pack, honestly, pretty, pretty solid, <laughs> pretty solid team the AI's chosen there, but we have got, as you can see, it's, uh, I, honestly, there's a couple of, I don't know, it's it's a weird one. We do have Jake Friend and Josh McGuire in the, the front row, a good good back row, and then the bench, Carrigan, Horsburgh, and Flegler. I probably, <laughs> honestly, like, I'm making this video, um, like, obviously, it's about to be round five, so Flegler might get the drop. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to redo the team, Flegler might not get in the team. He had started on fire, but he's had a couple of shockers. Um, but yeah, there, when I was going, when I was trying to make the team, there were so many options that I sort of, I, I didn't know who to choose. I honestly didn't know, but I, I thought I went for with a pretty decent, um, a pretty decent as Valentine Holmes down the sideline. Joey Leilua is not going to catch the flyer. And Caelan Ponga onto Val Holmes. That could be a dangerous combo in origin this year for sure. I, I would be very surprised if uh, if Ponga didn't get the fullback and, and Holmes wasn't on the wing. But yeah, there were so many options. And I, I was like, probably the one the one area that was tough to choose was the, the, uh, the back line. Now, I don't know why... The one thing I will say is Valentine Holmes kicks a, a great goal there. I don't know. Maybe I should have had Kalen Ponga kicking goals as well. But the one the one position I'm a little bit surprised I chose was Corey Oates on the wing. I probably should have chose Kyle Felt to be the winger. Um, I think I just I, th I think I just missed him in the in the list. Uh, but yeah, in my personal preference, I would I would have uh, I'd have Kyle Felt over Corey Oates on uh, on the wing at the present time. I think Kyle Feld is in sensational form, and uh, the Blues get a chance here to push the attack again. Cordner is going to drive towards the line, and he is going to get over for the Blues' first try. I mean, that was it was a compounded. <laughs> situation of areas we gave away the penalty the blues got a couple of nice sets of attack and uh we do crack there is damien cook doing the goal kicking i don't know about that one but uh but yeah probably and then i've got um i've got dane gagai and, and michael morgan in the centers honestly that was another position i was a little bit i was a little bit who who should i play i i was a bit um I was a bit miffed as a great offload there. Damien Cook steaming away. Jeez, the Blues are coming hard here. You know, they got a very dangerous and uh, an attacking team as well. Very, very much attacking. So this should be a this should be a pretty quality quality game for sure. Couple of young couple of young teams. Um, but yeah, got uh, Michael Morgan, Dane Gagai in the centers. I was trying to even now. I'm trying to think who who the centers will be as the kick goes up. Val Holmes takes it pretty comfortably. Bit of a bit of a poor end to the set, but yeah, I, I, maybe I'm missing someone. It's Kalen Pong in the big left foot step. Beautiful ball back onto Josh Papali, getting the offload as well to Jai Arrow. But we've got some good young forwards. I mean, Jai Arrow, Carrigan, Horsbra, David Fafita. <laughs> Beautiful left side play here. Dane Gagaway onto. Valentine Holmes, that, uh, that little combo is working a treat, and just the beautiful blindside play, Kalen Ponga was there sweeping around the back, just putting a little bit of doubt into the Blues defenders' minds, and I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the, it's the Joey Leilua uh, defensive side, so it's probably a pretty good pretty good chance to attack on, on his flank, obviously, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you're not going to find a stronger player, <clears throat> um, 
and defensively very strong but decision making can be a little bit tested as great offloads there ryan madison is so close to the trial and how do you not score and a big shot there the absolute try saver unfortunately we gift over possession again here so jared croker getting oh so close it's been a, it's been a back and forth contest so far fifth and last now gonna go back to uh to luke keary and unfortunately i, I was trying to just hold the line I was I was sort of ready for the kick, but it was one of those ones where they were so close to the try line. I should have I should have anticipated that they were just going to catch it and and try to run forward. So that was uh, that was disappointing. And it's just it's come down to it's come down to our errors, honestly. Um, and the other probably the other contentious one is we got Ben Hunt in the number fourteen jersey. There's another huge shot there. I think it was Jake Friend on uh, on the fullback Tommy Trebojevic. Um, that was that was great defense unfortunately we don't have enough time to to capitalize but uh pretty good start the blues controlling possession apparently but uh we've looked very silky in uh in attack um as a down this left again valentine holmes tries to take on tommy probably not the play there but yeah, i chose i chose ben hunt um you know and again this is before like the dragons are in like the worst form i've ever seen so <laughs> You know, I do like hunters like that 14 to come on and, you know, potentially playing the halves just as an injury, but he can come on and and uh, be dangerous around the ruck. But yeah, we went with him. And also Jake Friend and Dummy Half. Obviously, Reed Marnie is sort of, uh, he's, he's, he's not tipped to get it, but he's definitely a, a potential. Harry Grant has been thrown around after a couple of games. But I, I think Jake Friend, if fit, should be the dummy half for Queensland. As a great play there. Michael Morgan through the gap. Tommy Jaboyevich comes up with a try saver. I'm pretty sure he just made a tackle on the left hand, left hand side of the field. But David Fafita, that is a try, dude. That's too much power, too much speed. And yeah, I, I brought up Tommy because he was the one that missed the tackle. I mean, he. he he put his body on the line. I'm pretty sure he came from the full left side of the field to stop Michael Morgan. And then I saw him in the line. Big Dave for Fafita was, uh, was standing opposed. And I'm like, there's no way. Tommy is out on his feet here. He's going to try his guts out. But uh, that was uh, that was just a well-worked try as uh, Val Holmes makes a uh, an eight-point lead. Very, very handy in this, uh, in this match here. Um, but yeah, there are a few... A few interesting decisions. It's not, uh, you know, I, I like I said, there were so many to choose from. If uh, when I make like a uh, predicted Queensland and even New South Wales team, I'll, I'll really sit down and have a look. But uh, honestly, I think the team on paper we got is is pretty is pretty good. Um, we don't have. There's a few a few bigger missions. No, no Jared Wallace, who I think shouldn't be there. Often Gowie was someone that potentially should be. Um, who else? There's, there's a few. There's a few others. I'm still trying to think of some centers. I mean, we got a lot of wingers. <laughs> Queensland have a lot of good young wingers. I also Ronaldo Mulatalo. I, I probably would have over Corey Oates. I'd have Kyle Felt and Mulatalo over Co uh, Corey Oates. Um, so yeah, that, that's probably the one position I uh, I wasn't. I don't know. I don't know why I chose Oates. I think I uh, I think I just didn't see Mulatalo or. Or Kyle Felt in the in the list, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty solid. And we're playing a we're playing a great game in the defense, dude. The big hits. Oh my goodness, we are rocking the Blues forward pack, and it's really turning the game on its head. We're just uh, yeah, really turning it around here as we attack down the blind side. Beautiful ball onto Valhoes back on the inside. Kalen Pong, and that was a nice little silky little set piece there. But fourth play, well defended by the Blues. A chance to potentially win the game. Cameron Munster with a little delicate touch into the end goal. I think he's got there. The ref's given a no try, and uh, he's got it. The ball is stopped. It's hit a dead spot on the ground, and uh, Cameron Munster scores. I guess another omission is Dylan Napa, who, honestly, he's actually, I think he's starting to find a bit of form, Dylan Napa. Um, so, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind Dylan Napa getting a run. Probably, again, if I was making again, I'd probably have Dylan Napa over Thomas Flegler, and even Offen Gowie over, over Flegler. Um, but I do like Carrigan, I like Horsburgh, and I do like... Uh, who is the other one? I'm losing my mind. Carrigan, Horsburgh, and... <laughs> he was the other one, dude. 
Oh no, it was just those two because the other one was um was Flegler and Ben Hunt's the other the other bench player who I who I don't mind as well. So there we go, a 22 points to 10 victory. That is a, that's a quality win from a fairly young team. Couple of, a couple of experienced heads there. Jake Friend, I think that's why it's, it's very good to have Friend in the team because Queensland side is going to be very inexperienced overall, but um, to have Friend, uh, the, the cool head out there, but uh, great game. Valentine Holmes, man, the match. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.